Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 29 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, we're going to talk about the tone curve. Now, most of you probably know the tone curve is in the develop module of Lightroom. It's in the right hand panel and it's right here. What I found is a lot of folks don't realize you really have two tone curves in Lightroom. What we're looking at right now is what's called the point curve. And in most of my videos, you'll see that I use the point curve extensively, mainly to just add contrast. And I usually do it very easily. I just go down here to this uh, drop down and I put medium or maybe strong contrast on my image, something like that. And you can see it gives uh, an, a slight S kind of shape to the curve and there's these points on the curve. That's why it's called the point curve. Well, there's actually another curve in, in, included in this uh, drop down of the tone curve. It's called the parametric curve. And if you click right here, you'll see that the curve kind of changes. The points are gone and we have these sliders down here. And I wouldn't say that one curve is better than the other. But what I would encourage you to do and what's the point of this video is you could use them both together. Now they're not really independent of one another, but you could use them together. For example, you just saw me put strong contrast on this image and I have this pointed uh, point curve that is this S shape to it. But as I look at the image, maybe now I think that oh, it's really kind of dark. And if I go up to my basic panel, I could see that I already have uh, shadows all the way at plus 100. So I can't really add any more um, brightness to the shadows. You know, I could bring exposure up, but that's going to bring even, you know, uniformly up throughout the whole image. And I don't want that. I'd rather just brighten up the dark areas a little bit. Well, if we go back to the point curve and we go to the parametric curve and I look at these sliders, you can see as I hover over a slider, part of the curve that will be affected is kind of highlighted up here. Also, if I hover over the curve itself, the actual slider will get highlighted. So right there is highlights. That slider will affect that part of the curve. Lights will be a lot more of the curve. And as I move down, darks are a big chunk of the curve. And then finally, shadows are way down here. So as I look, I'd like to open up the shadows a little bit. So if I go to this shadow slider and move it to the right, you could see that I'm getting this hump in the curve right here, but I opened up the shadows nicely. If I go back to the point curve, you could see I still have my points and I still have this kind of contrast that I used the drop down for. But on the parametric curve, I took a little bit of the darkness away from the shadows. So that's the idea of this uh, episode of Quick Tips is I'd like you to learn how to use both tone curves in Lightroom and you could use them together to really optimize your image. All right, that's it for episode 29. I'd like to thank everyone that watches my videos and I'd like to particularly thank everyone that shares my videos. I really do appreciate it. And if you haven't had time, please do me a favor and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd really appreciate that. That's it. I'll talk to you guys soon.